Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a Sephora haul and I also have one thing from MAC and my Makeup Geek eyeshadows finally came in so I'm going to go ahead and show y'all those. So if you want to see this haul then please keep watching. Okay guys, so I think I'm just going to start off with MAC considering I only got one thing and it was a repurchase of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. I always get this baby, it's my holy grail, it's very full coverage, covers dark circles, even blemishes, and it's just a holy grail product that I probably won't ever not repurchase, so I went ahead and got that. Next at Sephora, I got, the first thing I picked up was the Myriad Time Release Acne Cleanser, and it looks like this. The reason I got this is because my skin has really been acting up lately, and I think it has to do with me getting older. Because in high school, when I was like in my teens, I never really broke out or anything. And now, I feel like I'm getting everything right now at this age. So I went ahead and got this. And the reason I like it is because I have another face wash. And I think it's a Bior, the Bior one. I don't know. And it has like more salic acid in it. It has like two. And I think that's the most you could get. Um, and this one only has 0 0.5. So it's not as harsh as that one. But... And it doesn't strip her skin and make it really dry. And I've heard a lot of good things about this. And it says that it delivers time-released acne medication that remains active after rinsing, optimizes hydration to restore suppleness, and improves skin's appearance. So I just thought this would be really good to try. And I will let you know if it works out for me. And I also, the second thing I got from Sephora was... It was also by Mirad, and I've heard really, really, really good things about this one. Even the Sephora, like, you know how, like, people can review it. There was really good reviews on this, and it's the Mirad Skin Smoothing Polish. It says it deeply exfoliates to leave skin soft and smooth and helps relieve congested pores, and it says pore reform. Um, the reason I got this, though, is because it has really good ingredients. I was reading the ingredients, and it just looks like amazing ingredients like witch hazel, cinnamon extract, and it tightens pores to balance oil production, star flower, leaves, <laughs> basically everything you want that heals your skin is in this product. And so I thought I would give it a try. And what's kind of disappointing though is this big thing right here is 30 bucks and it's a big face wash. It's 6.7 fluid ounces and this is only 3.5 fluid ounces but this is $30 and this is $30 so you get way more of this but less of this for the same price but I think it's okay because I guess it's okay because this one's exfoliator so you don't use it every day so I'm thinking that's why it's littler maybe. The last thing I got is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation with a SPF of 15 and the reason I got this, like I said, my skin isn't doing very well and I've heard that Tarte is really good with ingredients and being really natural in their ingredients. So I went ahead and got this. I already did a first impression on this product and I will link it down in the down bar. But um, I got the wrong color in the first impression so it was really dark. So I just got one shade lighter and I just remember that I tried this and I never purchased it but I did like it so I thought I would just go ahead and purchase it and the last thing that I got was some samples the girl that gave me these was really nice and she gave me a lot of cool samples so I'll go ahead and show you those it came in this little Sephora bag which I thought was adorable and so let's see what she put in here we got a NARS BB cream so and then I got a dual finishing multitask powder foundation all in one wear. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a miniature powder with a little powder puff. That's so cute. So that's cool. Then I got a Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. So I got that. I never got a primer in a sample size before, so that's weird. Then I got a Makeup Forever High Definition Pressed Powder. So this is basically the powder I use every day, but the pressed form, I guess. So let me go ahead and open that. Uh, if I can open it. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty big. It's like the pressed version of the Makeup Forever HD. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And the last one I got was 
the 10 hour wear perfection foundation by Sephora and I've actually heard good things about this foundation and so they just gave me that little sample size right there so that was really cool of them and I also got something that makes me kind of clinch because it just makes me think about all the money I've spent there I'm a VIB member now so basically what a VIB member is, it means that you spent so much money that you that you get a new card. So what a VIB member gets now is you have advanced access to sales, first dips on the newest, hottest products, special gifts and limited edition offers, invita invitations to a VIB only events and welcome offers. And you basically get all these coupons, like 10% off, or 10% off, um, free shipping, and then a makeover basically, which I probably won't use that one because I think it's kind of weird letting someone else do my makeup. But you basically get a lot of coupons and when they have like the VIB sale, you get to go and instead of having your little black card, you have this one now. So that just shows you how much I spend so much money on Sephora. So let's go ahead and open up this package. I'm so excited. So my Makeup Geek eyeshadows came in this box. I haven't opened anything yet. I kind of looked at the colors, but that's it. So I ordered this Z palette to put all my eyeshadows in, and I also depotted one of my MAC eyeshadows to see if it would go in here. So I got the, the biggest one you could get, I think. The biggest, yeah. It's a Z palette, and it's in the size large. And basically it just comes like this. It's kind of online. It looked thinner, but as you can see it's kind of thick, but it's okay. And I just got the black one. I didn't really want the pink one. It was kind of an awkward pink, so I just got this one. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. So this is the palette. This is what it looks like. It's kind of thin right here. It's a nice sturdy product. Like I said, it's kind of thick on the side. The top is more thin. And it just shuts like that. It's magnetic. And it says Z palette right there in gold. So I thought it was cute and nice just for the eyeshadows. But this baby was like $23. Like what the heck. The eyeshadows are way cheaper. And I could have bought like more eyeshadows for the price of this. But I guess it's good. Because you can only buy it once. And then the eyeshadows are like 5 bucks. So works out in the end. So let me go ahead and get the eyeshadows. So they come in little bubble wrap. So they stay nice and safe. <clears throat> so the first one I got here is the color Burlesque. And it's kind of like this mauve reddish color. It's really pretty. I saw Jaclyn Hill wearing this and I was like, give it to me. <laughs> so they come in these little pouches. And I guess you just take them out. Oh yeah. They just pop right out. So this is the first color, burlesque. And it's kind of like this maroon color. It's really good for fall actually. And I'm so sorry I did not do my nails. I'm gonna do them right after this video. So let me go ahead so and that's swatch what it. burlesque looks like. It's this mauvey brownie color. I think it's really pretty and it's good for in the corner, the outer corner of your eye or in your crease would look really pretty. So that is burlesque. Okay, the next color is mocha. So that is mocha. It's just this really chocolatey brown. It looks really, really pretty. Let's go ahead and swatch it. So that one is mocha. Much. It's just a really nice transition. Not transition, but like really good everyday brown that you can the use. The next one is frappe, which is another brown. I basically got all neutrals and some pops of color because I just wanted to try them out first and just get the basics. I wanted to get some, but some of them were out of stock so that kind of sucked. And I'm one of those impatient people that just gets something else <laughs> instead. So this one is Frap A. It's kind of like more like an orangey brown. So that's Frap A. This one kind of looks like Saddle from MAC. It's right there. Sorry for my swatches, but it reminds me of Saddle from MAC. The next one is a cult favorite, and I've been wanting this for so long, and it's Peach Smoothie. 
This is actually the first one I was looking for when I was online. And I saw that it was in stock and I was so happy because um, creme brulee wasn't and I was like, ugh. But this is just a great color for the transition. And it's just this peachy, great transition shade. So that is Peach Smoothie. So that is Peach Smoothie. It's just really light transition color and it's really good for all skin tones because I've seen so many okay. people wear it. We have Up Ice Queen and I got this one because I thought it would look really good for the inner corner and I think this is the one. I'm not sure if this was it, but it's a queen. Uh, queen. <laughs> it's a dupe for um, Max Nylon, I think. So let's see. So when you look at it, it just looks like a plain white, but I believe it's really frosty when you swatch it. Let's see. It kind of, it's like a white with sheen to it, basically. That's what it looks like to me. So that is Ice Queen. It'd be a really good brow highlight. And next we have up Shima Shima, which I heard is really, really so good. that one is Shima Shima. It can wrap. It kind of reminds me of Kitten by Stilla, but like a toned down version of Kitten in a more pressed form. So let's see this one. I ran out of Oh fingers. my gosh, this one is gorgeous. I'm so glad I got this one. It is like Kitten, but pressed and more metallic than Chunky. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So that one is Shima Shima. Oh my gosh, look at that reflection. It's so pretty. Okay, next we have Neptune, and I basically got this because for a pop of color. It's just a really bright blue. It's really pretty. I saw it online, and I thought it would be more of a purpley blue, but it's still really cute. Okay, so that is Neptune. It's so bright. It's so beautiful. It's just this really bright blue. It's just, ugh. I cannot wait to do a tutorial with this. So that is Neptune right, uh, right there. And I also kind of put him up here because I didn't know where to put him. But it's really pretty blue and I'm really excited. Last eyeshadow that I got was just a regular neutral color that everybody has. Or not neutral, but a basic color that everybody has. And it's Corrupt, which is just a matte black eyeshadow. But I've heard that this black in particular is just really, really insanely black. So I just wanted to go ahead and get it. It does look pretty black. So that is Corrupt. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's really insanely black. So that is Corrupt. Really, really black shade. Love it. So these are basically all the colors that I got. And they fit nicely into my little palette, which I'm going to fill up. So that's pretty much all I got from Sephora, MAC, and Makeup Geek. So if you like this video and you, or you like hauls, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep doing them. Other than that, that's all I have to say. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Till next time, guys. Bye. And this being the... <laughs> the last thing that I got was the tart. I spit. Okay. It's bot spectrum, bot spectrum. I cannot talk. Okay. You had advanced except <clears throat> hair break. And the last thing that I got is the Tarte Light Me. Oh, it's Tarte Light Medium. <laughs> What is up with this hair, man?